So then we looked at some of the most disliked classes of Dungeons and Dragons, and uh, there was actually quite a mix across the board for this. A lot of people weren't really crazy about monks because they felt like they were lackluster, or they preferred a previous version of monks. Barbarian actually got mentioned a lot more than I would have expected. Not a lot of love out there for barbs. Maybe these are indicators that these classes need some pizzazz for a lot of people. One that did come up pretty frequently was Ranger, and I get that because the 5e players handbook let's say canon edition of ranger is a little bit flimsy in my opinion ranger is the only class through the whole suite of classes available to DD pcs that i actually encourage use of the unofficial unearth arcana version and the reason is mainly around how the environment angle of rangers play out in ua so with the fifth edition version of the ranger that shipped with the core players handbook their environmental practices and awareness is pretty limited they have to choose a specific character to be their favorite enemy and that really funnels a player into making a choice particularly when a new campaign sets off you might not have an idea of whether or not that choice is going to be useful to you until you start the game i always encourage either way to have that conversation with your dungeon master or gm to make sure that uh, the choices that you're making are going to be beneficial to you as you play the game because you don't want to get five levels into a character and realize that well this is kind of gimped i don't really get the benefit of that and by proxy i'm not really enjoying playing it and that's something we all want to avoid but the revised Ranger class from Unearthed Arcana, it's available on the Dungeons & Dragons Unearthed Arcana site. It's actually really good. It doesn't offer anything that threatens to throw the balance of your game out of whack. And it gives the Ranger much more broad options like choosing humanoids or beasts as a favored enemy. Choosing a biome or a more broad environment as their favored terrain so that they get those bonuses more frequently. There is nothing worse than making a choice as a player for your character getting you know two or three sessions in and then suddenly realizing that uh it's it's not working out the way you had planned or worse that you just don't feel like you can compete with the other players at the table and i think as game masters it's really up to us to help uh, protect that good experience by offering those options for that reason exactly, I always offer my player a complete do-over up to level 5. So from levels 1 to 4, I allow my characters to change anything they want about their characters, inc com including a complete redo of their characters, provided they talk to me about it first and we understand where the problems lie, so we don't just recreate them in a new character. But once they hit level 5 and they make those updates to the character sheet, train wheels are off and you're locked in.